Greetings once again, and welcome to Creepy Ghoul Vision. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. Thank you for tuning in once again. Stay tuned to find out how and when Heaven's Gate must be entered. But first, let's get one thing straight. That this magazine here, Horror Hound Magazine, has got to be one of the best, if not the best, horror magazine in this day and age on the newsstands right now. Horror Hound Magazine. This was a thrift store find, actually. I was like, wow, Horror Hound Magazine. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so let's get some sounds happening here. What's going on? I don't know. But before we begin, let's mix some Tahiti Treat. Tahiti Treat, because the TV said so. With some... Evan Williams, straight up Kentucky bourbon, in this super cool Snoopy glass. Wait a minute, I think I'm doing this backwards. I am doing this backwards. Yeah, can I have some Evan Williams Kentucky bourbon with my Tahiti treat? That's all right. That's all right. Stay tuned to find out how and when Heaven's Gate should be entered. Okay, so today <clears throat> I've got uh, a couple of unboxings here from Hell's Headbangers. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be no background sounds. So anyways, let's get to it. Okay. Alright, i got a couple packages that came in last week and this week from HH, so let's get right to it. Thank you, Evan. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. We've got a bunch of uh, maggots in the box. So let me uh, get rid of these maggots here. Okay, let's see what uh, LPs we've got here. It's been quite a while, I've actually forgotten what uh, I've ordered here. Let's see. As usual, Howl's Headbangers has some uh, really good uh, packaging. Really tight knit packaging. You want to protect your LPs. Okay. There we go. So let's see. What's the first one we've got here? Ah, yes. Okay. 
a dissection side project, which not a lot of people know about, but uh, we've got The Black. And the album is called The Priest of Satan. Now, I have an original Necropolis uh, pressing of this. Um, I also have it on CD from way back when. And, uh, it's, it's a very hard album to come by. Um, I've got the actual CD demo as well, official from Necropolis, which I don't even know where I got that. But anyhow, um, this is a recent reissue of The Black, The Priest of Satan. And I said, you know what, I'm going to order it. This is going to be my playing copy. Um, this is an extremely devastating black metal album uh, right here. It's, a, it's a, pretty much a one-off. Uh, like I said, it was a dissection side project. John from Dissection. Um, it's, it was his band. Here's the insert. Yeah, just like the CD. The photograph. There we go. I was actually shocked to see that uh, a label had reissued this album, of all albums, uh, Osmos. Wow. Uh, actually, I actually didn't even know that. Osmos, Osmosis uh, released it. Cool. This is going to be my playing copy. Classic black wax. Man, look how shiny that is. Jeez. And there we go. And so there we have it. The Black. The Priest of Satan. Every single track on this album is devastatingly amazing. Like every single track. Um, a nice rare gem from the second wave of uh, early black metal. This is a really amazing album. Um... Again, yeah, I mean, if you like early dissection um, and bands like that, like Marduk, speaking of which, um, you'll definitely like this. Uh, really good shit. Raw and dark. Okay, so that's that one. Next album we've got here, speaking of, uh, speaking of Marduk, uh, I missed out on this, but thankfully there was an official repress Man, that's a beautiful jacket. Like, wow. I got uh, Marduk's Those of the Unlight on LP. Finally! Finally, finally, finally got it. Um, I've been wanting this one for a while now, and I totally missed out on it. Terrific album. Second album, I believe, um, by Marduk. I saw Marduk play in Toronto here many, 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 many years ago. They were great. They were terrific. It's got uh, gatefold lyrics. The jacket is extremely glossy. Like, it's really nice. Really nice presentation. Uh, let's see what we've got inside. Nothing. Uh, the wax is... Oh, yeah, this is a new thing that I think Osmosis is doing. Um, I don't know who else is doing it, but it's called the Galaxy Black uh, LP. So it's 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 very uh, very space. It's really cool though. Galaxy Black, really nice record. All right, so there we go. Those of the Unlight by Marduk. Finally got my hands on it. Okay. Wouldn't mind a copy of Dark Endless. In fact, I'm not even sure. I think I might even have it on LP. I'd have to check that out. But yeah, Dark Endless and Those of the Unlight and uh, the Fuck Me Jesus um, mini LP. Amazing. That's it. That's it right there. Blood. What's next? Oh, there it is right there. I told... <laughs> I totally forgot I even got this one in the shipment. So, speaking of Marduk, I got it. I never had this one on LP. I've got the uh, CD, an early pressing of the CD uh, from way back when. The um, Fuck Me Jesus MLP, right there. Yeah, there's the photo on the back right there. This is an amazing friggin' EP by these guys, man, I'm telling you. And here's the... Um, 
the jacket insert sleeve. It's got an early band picture of them on there. And on the other side, it's got um, yeah, it's got the lyrics. Jeez, there we go. Great, 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 great release. And let's have a look at the wax. Oh yes, look at that. Okay, so it's uh, one of those one-sided LPs, right there. And on the other side, it's etched. Look at that. Amazing. It's got the Marduk, um, I believe that's the Marduk logo on there. The wolf, I think. Yeah, I believe so. I'm holding it the wrong way. That's a beautiful piece of wax, man. Amazing. Yeah, finally got this, uh, this EP. Missed out on it several times. But yeah, scooped it up. Okay, and oh, okay. So, um, a couple of months ago, I don't know if you remembered one of my other videos uh, with a sarcophago uh, video from Hell's that I ordered a bunch of sarcophago stuff like cassettes, banner, record. Um, I missed out on this one here. I missed out on the orange version of INRI, I-N-R-I, so they came back in stock and I, I wanted the orange version because the orange version was the original version and the, the photo just looks amazing in orange and black, no question about it. Uh, so let's see what's inside here. Um, this is very different from the one I've got. I've got the blue version from the same label but the blue version. But this has got a really nice uh, insert. A gatefold insert lyrics and then on the inside it's got the graveyard picture of them and we've all seen that picture and it comes with well it comes with a poster oh yeah man geez it really sucks that I'm one of those types of people that will not put this up I'll just keep it with the record itself but like that's just awesome Classic shot of the band from back in the day. Look at that. Spikes, leather, bullet belts, chains. Oh, yeah. Beautiful poster. Really nice presentation. Definitely Grey Haze Records, care of Cogomelo Records. Definitely. So, yeah. So, I think, you know what? Um, I'll play this, but I'll, I'll use my blue copy my blue version as the playing copy. Let's check out the wax. Yeah, classic black wax. Nice and shiny. Okay, so there we go. Wow, that's a virgin record, man. I'm telling you, it's still got the static on it. And there's the middle and same thing on the back. There we go, Sarcofago from Brazil. There we go. Okay, beautiful record, man. Beautiful album. Every fucking song on this album is like killer. It's killer. Especially my favorite track is Satanus. That scream in the beginning to this day still gives me chills up and down my spine, man. Listen to it. YouTube it right now. Satanus by Sarcofago. In re version. Listen to that scream, man. It's absolutely chilling. Chilling is this Snoopy glass of blood. And last but not least, in that same order, again, I missed out on it, but I got it on this on this round. I got the um, the Nocturnal Mortem Nechrist album. Raw as hell album. Holy hell. I remember getting this on CD back in the day. I was just fucking blown away. It was an early shot of the band. I, these guys are from um, fuck, Nocturnal Immortem. Uh, the, not the Czech Republic. Oh, jeez. I, I know this. 
it just doesn't come to my mind right now. But um, there we go. Ukraine. Sorry, the Ukraine. Yeah, Ukrainian. Ukra they're a Ukrainian band. Yes. Okay, so the booklet. Let's check out the booklet. Oh, cool. Now that that's a fucking amazing booklet. Look at that. It's like kind of like a kind of like a zine actually. It's got. Uh, man, I can't understand this writing. Holy shit! It's in Ukraine, I think. Some of it is at least. It's got early shots of the band, um, some lyrics, and uh, just uh, this is a really nice booklet. Booklet insert. Oh yeah, Knee Christ by Nocturnal Mortem. There we go, there's the back right there. Yeah. Awesome, finally got this. I'm really happy to get this. Okay, and let's check out the wax. So it is a double LP because I do remember the songs on this album being super long, but really good. So it's, uh, oh wow, look at that. So it's, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, but uh, maybe Galaxy Black or Galaxy Gray LP. And the second LP is, I would assume it would be the same, but uh, however it isn't. Uh, that's, actually it is, but uh, very a very mild version, as you can see. And not as distinct as the first. But still, classic album by Nocturnal Mortem. Knee Christ, check it out. Okay, so now, how and when Heaven's Gate should be entered? What was the point of that glass, really? Shall we complete the circle with blood and all the signs of hell? Uh, heaven's gate can be entered through the Billy Van Museum in Hamilton, Ontario. But first, You must binge watch. God, I fucking hate that word. Thanks, Netflix. You must binge watch an array of K. Parker films. And Tracy Lord films. Must be binge watched. Listening to the sounds of Tarantula Ghoul Graveyard Rock. While indulging on good old BK. Burger King. You must buy your burgers from a king than a clown. And only then Heaven's Gate can be entered. Through the Billy Van Museum in Hamilton, Ontario. Okay, so let's get to the next unboxing. The next Hell's Headbangers unboxing. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, no more fucking around. All right. There we go. This one just came in. Like a couple of days ago. That's 
rip that fucker open. Ah! Oh, look at all the maggots! Ah! Oh, maggots! I said maggots. Okay, so let's get past all these maggots. Okay, so they sent me a couple uh, stickers. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Idle hands. Okay, I've never heard of them. I'll check them out, though. Um, heg, uh, heg, hegmony, hegmony, hegemony, heg. I don't fucking know, okay? I've never heard of them. I will look them up, though. Uh, what's this one? Oh, is that, uh, Profanatica? That's Havohedge. Jehovah. <laughs> Havohedge. Uh, there we go. Paul Lendy, uh, Profanatica side project. Am I right on that one? I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that one. I've never actually seen that image before. And, of course, I've got a million of these. Can never get sick of them. The Hellhammer Hell's Headbangers version sticker. Love it. Gotta love it. Love it. I love it. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. What came in in this order here? Terrific packaging. Terrific packaging. There we go. Okay, so let's see what, what have we got here. Okay, yes, yes. So let's do let's do a little bit of a plug here. Expunged from Toronto. Expunged. Black death metal. More on the death metal side. Really good shit. My buddy Metal Mike got me into this band. Oh, by the way, he hosts a radio show. Um, I'll put a link. In, to his radio show in the description box. If you like metal of all kinds, you need to fucking listen to this guy's show, man. He's had a radio show for like, I don't know, 20 some odd years now. Um, now it's on every Saturday from 10 to like 1. Um, I'm going to be listening to tonight. Um, I'll put a link in the description box. Check it out. Um, great, 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 great show. Great show. Uh, on Metal Nation Radio. I believe that's what it's called. Metal Nation Radio. Or you can Google Metal Nation Radio. Um, and check him out. He goes by the name Mega Mike. Anyways, from Toronto. Expunged. Three-piece band. Old school death metal. And this right here is their, I believe, their debut release. Um, there's like five songs. An album could be an EP. But um, there we go. Let's have a look here. 500 on black vinyl. God, I fucking hate that word. Vinyl. Hipster. Beard. Anyways. Um, so check it out. Ugly, crushing death metal in the classic, uh, okay, whatever the fuck. Anyhow, it's good shit. Check it out. Let's check out the wax. Classic black wax. Doesn't get any more shiny than that, folks. Seriously. There we go. All right, expunged from Toronto, Canada. Check them out if you like old school death metal. Really good stuff. Really, 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 really good stuff. From right here in TO. Okay, so next up, we've got uh, some early behemoth uh, the for and the forest dream eternally. Um, this one I have in the uh, box set that came out many moons ago, but I wanted a standalone copy of this because I have from the Pagan Vaselands, um, 
and I really did want a standalone copy of this uh, this album here, this EP. Um, so it's still sealed, but there is a gatefold. And you know what? You know what? Um, I'm actually going to open this, slide it out of the, the cellophane here, because it was already opened. Because Hells, they usually put their records, uh, they take their records out. It's, it makes for better shipping. And uh, so let's, let's, whoa. I'm just going to slide that right out. There we go. Because I want to see the gatefold. Oh, yeah. There we go. Old school, man. Old school. Early Behemoth. EP. Demo-like EP. Really good shit. Uh, from the early 90s. There's even a Bathory song on there. And the forest dream eternally. And let's check out the wax. Oh, okay. That's kind of like a uh, a clear tinted wax. Really nice. Yeah, definitely wanted to have a standalone copy of this uh, this gem. It's 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 amazing, amazing album. This and the Pagan Vaselands. Listen to them back to back. Okay, the next one I got was um, Dana's band, Mythic, before Demonic Christ. Demonic Christ played Toronto many years back, and sadly, I missed the show. I heard it was fucking amazing. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, the middle one, there's Dana. Am I pronouncing your name right? Dana. Uh, these chicks are so fucking hot. Look at them. Oh. Old school death metal. Like, seriously. Now, I'll, I'll admit, I am not a fan of chicks doing death metal vocals. I, I'm really not. I mean, I don't give a shit about Arch Enemy, to be quite honest with you. Um, that's like way new school crap for me. But um, Mythic, they do it right. Gallhammer was borderline. I do like Gallhammer. I own a good portion of their discography. Um, you know what? They were borderline for me. Uh, Mythic, listen to these guys, man. They, they do it right. Dana's vocals was is is amazing and she went on to form the uh death metal band after mythic um called demonic christ which is equally devastating as mythic now this is every single thing mythic ever recorded some really cool shots of the girls there and um yeah some demo covers and whatnot really cool Really nice presentation. The jacket's really glossy and really nice. Yeah. God, look at these chicks. Oh, yeah. There we go. And let's check out the wax. And, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Look at that blue wax. It's fucking gorgeous. It's like those metal chicks. All right, mythic. Okay, so next up we've got. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so let's head back to. Well, before we do that, they 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 just they just they just grabbed a whole bunch of stickers, threw them in the box. And they ended up in the record. So I, I got a couple um, cyanide, cyanide stickers. I got one. Oh, actually, no, it's another one. This is Violent. Um, I think I got this one last time. Violent Hammer. I looked these guys up. These guys are amazing. Like old school black death metal. Really good shit. Check them out. Uh, what else? I got some more... Uh, some more of these ones here. Um, yeah, I finally got my uh, background noise happening. Got another one of these. Another one of these. 
Who's this? This is uh, Tradition Temple. Heard of them. Don't know anything about them, though. I will look them up. Great way to get into some new bands. And Shitfucker, Sex with the Dead Body. Saw some imagery of these guys on Hell's Headbangers. Fucking gross. Cool sticker, though. So, I got uh, a couple more here. So this one here, these guys here are from Toronto, right here in Toronto. I saw them, uh, I think last year at a small club. They were absolutely uh, <laughs> devastating, to say the least. Um, just very, very old school, two two piece man, um, female vocals, really raw black metal. And to pronounce the name. S O R T I L E G I A Sortila. Sortila. I'm embarrassed. They're from my hometown here, and I can't even fucking pronounce their name. <laughs> hey, at least I can admit it. Sortila, Sortija, Sortilia, Sortilia. Anyhow, uh, I believe this is the second album. Don't quote me on that. I got their. Uh, debut at the show when I was there and I got the last copy on the table there thankfully these guys are amazing man the stage show was just phenomenal incense burning candles burning uh, just darkness and just atmosphere really good shit there they are right there two-piece band from Toronto right here in Toronto check these guys out do yourself a favor man if you like the old school raw primitive stuff like I do um, here is the oh here is the uh, insert that it came with right there that's one side of it right there and yeah there she is right there there she is in her bloody glory awesome that was pretty much how the stage looked right there Okay, and let's see, let's check out the wax, yep, classic blacks, 180 gram vinyl, this thing weighs a ton, shiny and black and nice, there we go, and there's the label right there, minus the glare, yeah, so Please, check these guys out, man, I'm telling you, great fucking band, great band. Uh, there we go, 180 gram black vinyl, and there's the name right there, Sortil Sortila, Sortil Sortilija, Sortila. I'm not even going to bother, just do yourself a favor and check these fuckers out, man, I'm telling you. Okay, and last but not least... 100% two fingers in the air, punk rock, crust punk. I finally got my hands on this anti-Cymex um, Victims of a Bomb Raid LP. Um, this is the early shit, the 82 to 84, the EPs and the demos right here. Anarchist Attack, Rape Das, and Victims of a Bomb Raid. Finally got my hands on it. I missed out on this at my local record shop. Um, Hells had it, so had to order it before it was gone. I actually have the original uh, Victims of a Bomb Raid 7-incher, uh, uh, oh sorry, the Raped Ass 7-incher um, in my collection there. So yeah, this is the LP collecting all of them. And finally got my hands on this, uh, this crust, crust punk masterpiece, yes. There we go. So there we go. Another double whammy of a Hell's Headbangers unboxing. You know, you cut me, I bleed. Thank you very much for tuning in once again to Creepy Ghoul Vision. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed all the stuff. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. You know the deal. Give me a couple thumbs up, will ya? And we'll see you on the next video. I got a few more coming your way. And, um, yeah, that's it for now.
that's all there is and there ain't no more.